Hello everyone. So today we are going to come uh, do a comparison video between these two fragrances, which are popularly known as the Black Beauty of the fragrance, uh, you know, like community. So one is a flanker of the normal Bulgari Man in Black. So this flanker is known as Man in Black Orient. So from the name you get a hint that um, it has something oriental to do with it. So uh, the official notes as listed have oud I guess in it, but let me see because whatever i'm gonna tell you about the notes and everything breakdown i'm not gonna over complicate it by telling you all the notes and everything but definitely i'm gonna give you a small idea about how the whole thing and how the structure of the perfume is so i've already sprayed these two samples in two test strips so that i can tell you about the dry down and it has already been one hour so i can actually hear a lot of difference between the two i don't know if you will be able to make it out so let's start the review so first i will spray bulgari man in black so bulgari man in black i will spray on my hands here so as you saw the sprayer is actually i think the sprayer needs a lot of work because it actually squats it doesn't spray so but the juice is quite nice as you can see really shiny one and on the right side i will actually spray did you see did you see how it squatted just it doesn't spray so that is the main problem with these bottles you know like all of the bulgari bottles that you get that is the main problem so here you got the juice so now let me first sniff orient so as i can tell you this is a beautiful perfume you know people who like that uh, you know warm spicy whiskey thing they will definitely love this perfume and oh man like this is really rich opulent deep dark another thing i was just reading about both of these and in general the man in black series so the master perfumer has actually taken you know inspiration from the uh, you know the legend i guess which is vulcan you know the god of uh, earth so also another thing vulcan is also known as the god of fire so there is a lot of fiery element in both of these perfume according to me because the spices and the rum actually make the whole of the dna of this perfume and both of these very warm so bulgari man black and orient as i can smell it is a little bit boozy and there is a well use of tuberose note here also it uh, has a uh, lot of boozy elements to it also tuberose here and uh, it has that oriental touch to it while if i smell this one bulgari so from bulgari man in black what i get after this initial spray of one to two minutes is that it is a lot more powdery the booziness is quite a little down here it is more on the powdery side plus I can get a hint of tuberose, but if I smell immediately Bulgari Man Black Orient, I can really notice a huge difference. It also has a little bit of, you know, a little bit of sticky, a little bit of like resinous sweetness about it, which this Man in Black doesn't have. The Man in Black is more like, I, uh, if I tell you, there's a perfume, uh, you know, like uh, some of the perfumes which have a lot of iris in it, it is a little bit powdery, so it has that irisy element about it. So this Bulgari Man in Black, in my opinion, is more powdery. And this Bulgari Man in Black Orient is more, you know, on the boozy, sweeter side. It definitely has a lot of similarity with this, but this is definitely more rich and more opulent. So if you are trying to pull off, you know, a situation rich, very opulent, you actually need a very deep and dark fragrance. And one thing, both of these fragrances are actually winter fragrances. So if you are a fan of boozy fragrances and if you like that sweetness about it and you like to wear sweet fragrances in summer, definitely you can go for both of these. But both of these are actually winter fragrances. This baby here is actually a lot more sweet, a lot more resinous. It has that oriental quality about it. A little touch of orientalism it has. While this one is more powdery, you can even wear this to office. It is it is really, really, really very, very sexy fragrance. Both of these very sexy fragrances, very nice fragrance and really gem masterpiece. So last part of the video, I'm what I'm going to do is that I'm going to smell these two fragrances of these tester strips, which I have already sprayed. So let me first. OK, so this is this one which I'm sniffing. This one, this one is the Orient one. And this one on my left has the man in black one, the normal one. So yeah, yeah. In the in the uh, in the you know in the dry down, if you compare both of these, you will actually notice the powderiness of this man in black normal one, and in the Orient one, you will definitely notice that resinous sweet nature of the fragrance which I was telling you about. So both of these are quite different, and for the longevity of both of these, they last for a decent amount of time for you know like seven to eight hours they will last on you, and after the initial three hour mark, both of these will come very close to your skin, you know, and this will definitely leave a very sweet 
touch on your skin while this will actually give you a very powdery kiss. The good news is that if you want to take decans of both of these, decans are available with me. You can definitely order. If you want to order and want to contact me, definitely tell me in my comments. I will definitely give a link there and you can contact me. I'm wrapping up this review. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my very first attempt at doing a fragrance. So I hope I didn't disappoint you. Thank you.